Hey everybody, it's Michelle and I am so excited about the craft we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making a butterfly puddler or a butterfly puddling pool, some people call it. A couple years ago, I decided to turn the hill out behind my house into a butterfly garden. I've been planting flowers that attract the butterflies, but butterflies need more than flowers. They need somewhere to drink water from. And as you may or may not know, butterflies can't land in open water. So they need a facility where they can drink from wet sand or water between rocks or something like that so that they don't have to land in standing water because that can be dangerous for them. So today we're going to be making that butterfly puddler. I'm going to be making that with this small bird bath that I got at Walmart. It was only about $15. It's the little short one. I like that for a butterfly puddler. I thought that'd be cute. And rather than just wet sand in a bird bath, I decided that I had to go a little more crafty with mine, of course. So we're going to be making it sort of like a little fairy garden butterfly puddler. It's going to be really cute. I'm excited to get started. Over here we've got some of the Crayola Play Sand in blue because I wanted that to look like water where they're going to be drinking from that wet sand. And then I've got some brown colored aquarium gravel that we're going to be using for a ground area around that. And here we have some of the 3M traction system that is the rough adhesive layer that you apply to stair treads and things like that for safety and non-skid purposes. I've got a scooper here that we're going to be using for our sand. And I've got a small piece of inexpensive version of the landscaping weed barrier. We're not really going to be trying to keep back any weeds, so we don't need the really good kind. We're just going to use that inexpensive kind because we're just going to lay that under our gravel. That way they won't end up sinking down into the sand. Over here I've got some little decorative elements. I've got, of course, a little butterfly fairy. We need her in our fairy garden, butterfly puddler. And a little welcome sign. These are some little candle lids. I'll tell you about those a little later. And a Christmas ornament. And then for the greenery, we've got some little things that I picked up from the aquarium section. I thought that'd be really good for that because I know that they'll stand up to the weather if they can stand up to being submerged completely in water. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is get a layer of our sand in the bottom to get started. Wow, that is really a bright blue. Okay, that's going to be our water, and we need to get down our landscape fabric to put our gravels on. I've cut this already to the shape that I wanted. And then we just pour those on until we get enough to hold that down for us for a minute. Okay, this is where we're going to need our 
stair tread material. I've got a piece of that here that I pre-cut to the shape that I'm going to need. I'm going, we're going to slice that down into the sand and come around the edge of this and kind of use it just as a little border edging like you would around a flower bed just to hold those rocks back. Okay, now we can finish filling in those gravel. That looks really cute. Okay, now that we've got that, we may want to add a little bit more of our sand to come up to that. that may be a little too much. Just work with that until you think it looks good. Adding in, taking back out, whatever you need to do to get that the way you want it. Just make sure you get enough up here to hide that little edging. Okay, that's looking so good. I think now we can start placing our little decorative elements. Put our little plant in here. Kind of wiggle that down into the rocks a little. So that'll help hold it in place. next to the bush. We're going to need to poke her through that fabric. Okay. I think that looks like a cute little spot for a butterfly rock. And then we'll put another little plant behind that. Get that embedded down into the gravel too. And this this little miniature Christmas ornament, just a little plastic Christmas ornament that I got from the miniature section at Christmas time. And I thought that would be really cute as a gazing ball in our little fairy garden. So we're going to stick that down in right here. 
here. So our fairy has a little gazing ball. Isn't that cute? Okay, now the butterflies need, actually when we get this sand wet, it's going to be a little difficult for the butterflies to land in that to drink from. So they need, I've seen it suggested, to put little rocks for them to land on and then drink from the sand. But I thought instead of rocks, I would like to use clear glass. These are just little lids that I got. I took them off of the little lidded jar candles that you can get at Walmart, the little tiny ones that are just a dollar. I took that off of there, took off the little rubber seal around the edge, and we're going to embed that in for a little landing. It'll look like a little landing pool for the butterflies. <clears throat> we're going to get that sand all up inside of there so that we keep that consistent look. Let's pack it in a little bit. Okay. And then just embed that in there for the butterflies to land on. I think that's cute. Now let's fill the other one full of sand. We've got three of these. We're going to have three little landing spots for the butterflies. I think that's a good spot for another one. We'll go ahead and pack this one before we straighten that sand out. Okay. And there we go. Now just smooth your sand around. be a little more raised up than that. I think that looks okay. You can just move them around until you're happy with the way they're arranged. Just make sure you've got plenty of space for your butterflies to land. And now add some water in so that they have wet sand to drink from. Add that in gently. We've got water running down the side. That's okay. Some more 
water. I want to get it completely saturated. I'll wet this back here too. If you want to, you can take a fork and make some wave lines. I'm sure the butterflies will come along and change this for you, but it'll be cute starting out. Clean up our edges a little bit. And there's your butterfly puddler. Now we just wait and see if the butterflies come. I really enjoyed this project. It's one of my favorites so far. I love outdoor projects. I love when the flowers start to grow and the butterflies and the birds start to come. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like on Facebook, and follow me on Pinterest. Let me know in the comments what other kind of crafty videos you'd like to see. I'd be happy to try. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.